guys, welcome back. It's empties time again. I haven't done an empties in several months because I just didn't have enough stuff accumulated. So I thought maybe I'd start doing these like quarterly. Um, but anyways, I've got some empties here that I wanted to share with you guys. And let's just get right into it because if not, we'll be here for a half an hour. And girl, um, girl nobody got time for that. <laughs> but anyways, first let me get um, all my makeup empties out of the way because that way if you're not interested after I'm done, then you'll know that the rest is, you know, maybe skincare or hair care or just body care or just something I've really enjoyed. Um, the first empties I have, I'm going to talk to you guys about my primers. Um, I've had, I have two primers that I emptied out. One was the NYX HD Studio Photogenic um, Primer Base, and I don't think they make this one anymore. Maybe they do. I don't know. It was okay. I didn't care for it very much. It, um... I prefer their Angel Veil and um, their Pore Filler one, so I wouldn't say go out and buy this one. The primer I have is the number 50 by It Cosmetics, um, and I did enjoy this one. It's got a lovely, lovely um, citrus scent, and it was very moisturizing. And it, uh, Let's just start with, I have combo skin, and in the winter, it's more dry. And so this came in very, very um, useful during this, the winter. It helped um, keep my skin nice and and nourished and it has uh, 50 hydrating anti-aging peptides essential lipid rich oils and vitamin extract and botanicals and I liked it it's very good I have another one of these that um, when I bought it it was like a, a duo they were selling so I ended up getting a really good deal on it and I will be using that one right now I'm using something else but I do like this one I would definitely repurchase it the next thing I finished here was um, my Milani lip oil I can't remember I think this was like the peach one and I really did enjoy this one it was very um nourishing I would put it on in the mornings before I would put on my lipstick and I really did care I really liked this one it was the 03 I think it was peach or mango one of the two but I really did enjoy it and I, w I bought it in coconut um I don't know where it's at right now so I need to go find it but I did enjoy it when I was using it I also finished up uh, two mascaras. I finished up my uh, Lash Effect by Essence. Love, love, love this mascara. I had the peach one. I think this was just the um, volume one. I think the other one is volume and length. This is just the volume one. And I really did like this mascara, so I would definitely repurchase. And in fact, I have the volume and length one, which is the green one. I don't have it open, but I do own it, and I will definitely be using it. The other one I used was my Grand Joyce by Lancome. It was the waterproof one, and I liked it. I liked it okay. Um, why did I like it? I liked it because um, I have very, very watery eyes. I often call them my mutant teary eyes, and anyways, um, no matter what mascara I put on, very few of them will stay unless I put a waterproof coat on top, and so this is always like my last finishing coat and I owned it and so I used it. I won't be repurchasing purchasing it. I think I'm using now a L'Oreal one that's doing just the same. The one thing I wanted to say is this one, the um, one by Essence, is one of the few that I've used that does not smudge all over my face and that I can actually use without having to use a waterproof coat over it. So it's a really good one if you've got teary mutiny eyes and don't want to use a waterproof mascara. Um, I've got two blending sponges a booty blender and it is seen better days it is done it needs to be retired um it ends up in my i've always explained this to you guys and you'll be able to see it. it's kind of gross um my bathroom is very humid and um they end up getting mold no matter how many times i clean them and so i i no longer buy the beauty blender unless it comes with some form of a kit because it's just way too much money to have it go bad in a month or a month and a half because it gets mold it's just too humid in the bathroom so this one was from a walmart set that i bought and um and i will do an, a a review on that product it's just it brought three sponges and so this was the only one i had tried at this moment i'm using one other one from that pack it was a good sponge um the only thing is this one it said it was vitamin e enriched and so when i first took it out it had like a slimy Mm, slimy is not the right word a very I had a slip to it and it I'm not used to my sponges having that kind of a slip I imagine it was the vitamin E inside of it um I don't know why my sponge would need to have that to nourish my skin I didn't find it it did anything special other than it make it feel funny in my fingers and so it was a good sponge it just had that I thing finished on it. up a it cosmetics uh je ne sais quoi by 
Vitality Lip Flush. It's all done. I like these. These are really, really good. They help keep your lips moisturized, especially in the winter. And they have a, a very sweet, let me see if it'll give it to you. Um, if you can see it, it has a very sweet, it has just a little bit left in there, a bit of a pink tint to it. So when you put it on your lips, it looks like you've got something on. I really do. I did enjoy this and I have another one already. Um, I had to retire a lipstick because it started to smell kind of funny. It's a, a Laura Geller um, lipstick, Laura Geller, and it is in Riviera. And um, I used up quite a bit if you look inside the tube. Um, and you can tell, I, it, you know, I used up quite a bit. Um, it, these weren't the best lipsticks. I, I did buy it, and I'll give you a swatch because I do own it, and I can give it. It's a very sheer, it's um, that one right there. It's a very sheer color. Uh, so it was good in that respect, and it was moisturizing. Um, they just kind of went all over the place, and um, I really it, didn't um, enjoy them. And I had to retire my NYX Tame and Frame. I have it in the color Espresso, NYX Tame and Frame. Um, I use this on my brows. I used it for like a year and it started to dry out as you can tell on the edges and stuff. And I had a Anastasia brow, um, what's it called? Anastasia brow gel. So I just decided to go ahead and retire it and start using it. I had a brown one. gel eyeliner dry out as well. It's from Wet n Wild Fergie. I don't think they make these anymore. And this one was in Cocoa Rich. It's the brown shade. I like, like today I'm wearing a brown um, gel eyeliner. Um, and so it, as you can tell inside, it got really, really hard. Um, and it was really difficult to use. So I went ahead and retired it. I ended up um, repurchasing a L'Oreal one that I, I enjoy. And the one I'm wearing right now is by Maybelline. So I didn't buy this one because they don't make it anymore. But I did guys, like I'll it. start some skincare and other products. The, I finished up the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. This came as part of a, um, a set that I bought about a year and a half ago. Um, and it was okay. I liked it. I used it up. I'm not going to repurchase it. I have several um, eye creams from my subscription boxes. And there's just no need for me to go out and purchase something when I've owned them. And I can finish them up. I finished up a 613 by Wen. I, these are the shampoos that I use. You guys know that I'm a Wen girl, and so I really enjoy that one. It's the one I like the least because I don't really care for the smell I of it. I finished up a Bath and Body Works um, Twisted Peppermint, a hand soap. I, oddly enough, I like the Twisted Peppermint as a hand soap. I did not care for the Twisted Peppermint candle. I actually returned that one. So, who knows? I can't even understand myself. I finished up another Esther Ben bought uh set of 30 caps i'm in the change and it is no bueno and that helps it be a little bit more bueno i used up my very first uh bonnie v bon vivant botanical mask pack it was the aloe one uh it really did help me because i've been derma rolling and um your skin gets very very it needs like a little bit extra after you do that and this really was the little extra i needed I finished I up a nail polish this. remover yay um I finished up both my oils. I use the Now Jojoba. Um, I'm using another brand at this moment, but this is my favorite so far. I like the other one, not as much as I like this one. And I used up uh, Maracuja. I'm sorry, no, it's 100% Marula. This one was by Savin Sean, S-C-H-O-N. It was good, guys. I enjoyed it. Um, I am currently going through an argon oil that I had opened that I wanted to finish up because those things, they go bad, so you kind of have to use them up. Um, I finished an Olay Regenerist um, Micro Sculpting Cream. I liked it. Um, it's not my favorite. I prefer the serum. It's the same stuff inside of it, so you can decide whether you prefer serum or cream. I prefer serum, so I finished up that one. I used up a Kiss My Face Active Life de Deodorant. It's just a deodorant and it was okay. Um, I prefer the one I'm using now. It's Old Spice, it's Bear Claw, and it's a deodorant as well. This one was okay. I used up several and I, I just kept three because why keep all of them? Uh, melatonin, these are from the dollar store and I really, really enjoy them. The melatonin is so yummy. 
the vitamin D I have a deficiency in, so I decided I'm gonna eat gummies if I'm gonna have to take them. These are really, really yummy. And I used up a biotin, several of the biotin. I used ones. up a uh, moisturizing shave cream from Trader Joe's, it's the Honey Mango. It's a, something that we use up here at my house very often. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, if I don't have it, I'll use the um, one. I used up another one of my Palmer's Cocoa Butter uh, Sobo Sticks. I use these as my lip balm. They're the best thing ever. I use them on my chapped lips all the time and I'm um, surprised that there's only one in here because I go through these like crazy. Uh, Okie dokie. I used up a Kojak Co sponge and um, by used up is it got moldy. Again, my bathroom is very, very humid. I live in Florida and no matter what I do, it just is very moist in that and so things don't really ever really dry out real well so I you know wash my towels very often and get rid of stuff. Sleep, I used like up um, my sunscreen I used the Neutrogena pure and free baby the broad spectrum 60 plus uh, it is a mineral it's a broad spectrum um, mineral based sunscreen it has no chemicals in it and because I use retin-a and vitamin c my skin is very sensitive to chemical sunscreens so I tend to use the mineral based ones um and I am retiring my Josie Marin um Argon Daily Moisturizer SPF 47 I'm finally saying I am not going to finish this uh, I got this a couple years ago and number one it goes bad you know SPF you can't have it forever and number two, I just don't enjoy the texture of this product. It's a sticky, it's very, very sticky. It just never seems to be absorbed by the skin. And I've had that problem with another one of the um, Josie Marin products. Um, I do enjoy her milk and I enjoy her oil, but I do not care for this particular product. So if I had to pick, I've already repurchased this one. I love this one. It works wonders. And lastly, it's my, you know, just an extra favorite. It was Easter and I love the Robin eggs. Every year I end up getting, um, I don't know, two or three of these boxes and I, it's the thing that I enjoy during the Easter season. It's the one treat that I allow myself. I allow myself a lot of treats, don't get me wrong. But you know, it's one of those things that I only get during this time of year and I very much enjoy this. So guys, I thank you guys for coming by. Thank you for watching my empties. I hope that you found it. Um, useful and that maybe one or two of these products were something that you might have been considering and you know, this led you to buy it or not to buy it. You guys, thank you for coming by to watch. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.